Доброго ранку, шановні гості, колеги журналісти. Український кризовий медіацентр розпочинає свою роботу. Ми почали працювати, і ми будемо говорити про відтрактування фінансової інвестиції. Ми маємо гостей з ВОКС з України, і вони будуть розповідати про індекс економічних свободів. І я даю слово до місця Девиденка, редактора від ВОКС з України. I'm a chief editor of Vex Ukraine, and today we are going to speak about foreign investment in Ukraine. Of course, this is a very important topic, and for Ukraine it's difficult to overcome the crisis, and it is evident that the government that came to power after Maidan they are not good at attracting financial investments. And you know that uh, in 2015, uh, they improved uh, indicators, but this is uh, the, uh, that was done by the National Bank. And uh, there are some reasons as war loss of territory, and that deteriorates the climate for investment. But this is not the main reason. Uh, uh, Ukraine takes 162 uh, place in the rating uh, near Solomon Islands. So we are repressive economy. And we try to analyze the rating and found the weakest places. The power should have done something to improve situation of Ukraine in this rating. And also, we found several steps how to improve the situation in our state. Uh, and uh, we uh, invited Svetlana Rusakova, head of proprietary trading at Dragon Capital, also a Vox Ukraine participant. Svetlana is given the floor. As it would, was told by Boris, the topic was the to analyze economic freedoms where Ukraine got the lowest number of scores. Why economic ratings are so important? because they contain the factors that are interesting to investors when they decide whether to invest their money in the country. So we can work on our weaknesses and to create an attractive investment climate for investors, foreign investors, and uh, maybe of course, and our Ukrainian investors would also be happy with this. And why uh, and investments are so important for Ukraine? They are needed for sustainable development of U Ukraine. Also, they stimulate economy. And uh, in 2014, uh, the volume of direct foreign, foreign investment fell to uh, 300 million dollars. This is a minimum. And uh, previously it was 1.4 billion. And in uh, 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 2013 uh, it was about 1.2 uh, uh, million. And uh, no, this is mainly uh, in the banking sector. Uh, so uh, we can't say that these uh, are live money. Can you provide us with the video, with the presentation? Let's look whom we lost during this year. From 2009, Ukrainian banking sector was left by 17 banks with foreign capital. The last one, Unitnit Credit Bank, and uh, 
the transaction was finalized in 2015. And uh, uh, in this slide, you may see the biggest uh, oil and gas uh, corporations that uh, started uh, plans on uh, shale gas. But all these projects now are postponed or the companies uh, rejected the project. On this slide, uh, there's uh, IKEA Corporation. Uh, it has a policy towards uh, the um, uh, fighting uh, bribery, and they uh, could uh, were not able to establish their office. And the Zeran OBI also left the Ukrainian market. And among the reasons they stated why they left, they mentioned. Uh, non-transparent market and unfair competition. So what indexes and ratings we have here? We know uh, S&P, Moody's, Fitch. We have also other indexes that estimate uh, overall sit economic situation in the country. Doing business that identifies and assess uh, whether it is easy to open a new business. And Ukraine uh, takes uh, 83rd place in this rating. Also, the index uh, uh, provided by Transparency International here is uh, of, uh, 130 place out of uh, 100 and, uh, uh, 68 and the index of economic freedoms. It uh, Ukraine takes 160 uh, se second place out of 178 places. This index of economic freedoms it is composed of ten components that are divided into four groups. We selected those that had the lowest number of scores, uh, 30 or less. Investment financial freedom and also freedom from uh, uh, corruption and uh, uh, property right protection. For each of this component, we analyzed uh, these indexes, how they are estimated, and what the power proposed. We looked at coalition agreement, what was stated there, and also why Ukraine got uh, this uh, low number of scores. And we tried to find out what Ukraine should do in order to um, have uh, five, uh, uh, 50 scores in these ratings. Economic freedom, the index. Uh, so uh, if there's freedom in the country, for uh, this country is uh, mm, f good for investment, and it has 100. Um, percent of uh, scores, and uh, Ukraine got only uh, 20 uh, scores here. Uh, the reasons are bureaucracy procedures, um, limitations on investment in some sectors, and also um, procedures uh, and also uh, issues with privatization and allocation of uh, agricultural lands to foreigners. Uh, the power uh, said that they will deregulate the market and uh, uh, harmonize the legislation on uh, uh, rights, and also they will provide transparent privatization. And if we look at the work that has been done, we may say that Uh, they adopted the law on deregulation. Uh, they lifted 15, uh, 170, um, 170 um, standard, state standards, also financial liberty, uh, financial freedom. Uh, this is the uh, intervention of the state in financial sectors. And here, Ukraine got 30 scores. Why? 
It is the regulation of the banking system and financial market. Also, a big number of uh, uh, bad credits in the bank portfolio and also some obstacles for international financial institution and low level of development of financial sector and also privileged position of institutions with um, uh, state share. And uh, also the work has been planned and the power, they said that they will clear the uh, market from uh, um, troubled banks and to develop uh, the procedures and complex strategy on um, development of state banks. Some work has been done and uh, they uh, the uh, liquidity of the bank was increased. The, uh, the strategy was uh, adopted and a complex of measures uh, on the rights of the creditors and also the standards of the disclosure of information. But this is only enough for 30 uh, scores in the segment. Uh, so uh, freedom from corruption. Uh, so this is how uh, this index is assessed. Ukraine uh, has 26 scores here. And uh, um, the state uh, delays the work of anti-corruption bodies and the power points the uh, anti-corruption bureau heads. And uh, uh, also, this index is negatively influenced by the interaction between business and power. So these anti-corruption projects were full-scaled. We were promised a new uh, policy in the different spheres of reforming justice system and also to create some state institutions to fight corruption, but they did little. And uh, they started the work of uh, the Corruption Bureau and also the law on the state fina uh, financing of uh, parties to fight political corruption. Also, the system of open data was started and the uh, registers of state property was open and uh, uh, some uh, like, um, schemes of corruption were liquidated. And the last component. Uh, the last component at which we look, this was protection of uh, property rights. Uh, um, here, the, uh, should be in place the legislation aimed at protection of the investor's property and uh, uh, intellectual property right protection. Here, Ukraine has got only 25 points because of the corrupt judiciary system, uh, existing cases of expropriation of uh, private property mm, and uh, um, mm. Also, the low level of uh, protection. Uh, nevertheless, among the positive steps, uh, these were the, um, the past law on uh, the right of uh, for uh, uh, judiciary and uh, some other regulations. So, what should be done to get at least 50 points for the uh, mm, uh, uh, but a situation the uh, large scale uh, uh, um, uh, privatization should be held out. Also, the uh, simplification of the bureaucratic procedures, cancellation of the moratorium on uh, uh, land sale, and. Uh, 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 protection of the investors' rights, uh, also the mm, to uh, sanitize the financial uh, system for the sanitation of banks and uh, uh, development of banking system should be carried out. Uh, um, the share, uh, state share in uh, banks should be uh, sold. Uh, also, the access uh, of banks to financing should be simplified and uh, the um, bad credits portion in uh, the credit portfolio bank should be um, cut down. The 
uh, anti-corruption work should be uh, strengthened. Uh, the electronic uh, uh, e-declaring -decla system should be launched, and uh, the uh, profound judicial reform should be carried out. And uh, the, um, the strengthening of, uh, property rights. Uh, Again, independent work of judiciary and court system, uh, political will of the top uh, uh, leadership of the country, and uh, political non-partiality and uh, non-participation of the leaders. Uh, our next speaker is... Uh, uh, Volodymyr uh, Semenichin, Director for Business Development and Regulatory Policies at the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade of Ukraine. Uh, the uh, authorities of Ukraine do not stay indifferent to the investment uh, attractiveness of the country and uh, the previous government and uh, uh, devoted attention to the uh, development of investment uh, uh, climate. Uh, also, the current government has set the goal in its program, Ukraine 2020, to bring Ukraine into the position of top 20 countries uh, in terms of uh, business uh, climate. Uh, so my question uh, to you, Volodymyr, now is uh, what uh, what are you doing to reach uh, this uh, uh, target and uh, how you plan to improve the situation in, uh, in, in reality? Good morning, everybody. Uh, why are we focused our attention at uh, doing uh, business ratings and uh, why we have set this uh, uh, target to reach the top 20 countries list in this uh, um, rating? Uh, and uh, this rating is uh, simple. It allows uh, to uh, measure to check how the business environment uh, is uh, convenient for running SMEs. Mm. And uh, in many countries, uh, all those indicators which are covered by this uh, uh, reading, they have uh, uh, well-developed legislation, and uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, small, uh, uh, is uh, a lot of small and medium-sized enterprises, which are very. Um, proactive in um, searching for new markets, in penetrating into new markets, and in growing in new markets. Mm, uh, so this is an answer partially to your question why the government had selected um, that uh, that very rating is the target uh, for for us. Also, the World Bank is a rather reliable uh, uh, and reputable international organization, uh, and uh, we may rely on their uh, methods of measuring. Mm, uh, so. Uh, uh, how do we plan to act uh, during the last seven years? Ukrainian government had been acting in the old way when having set some targets. It uh, simply uh, s gives uh, an order in assignment to the ministries to reach some figure uh, set by the cabinet of ministers, and that's it. Unfortunately, it appeared to be rather inefficient uh, because it resulted in uh, some uh, fragmental um, changes and improvements. Uh, 
well, we decided to change this approach. So what is our current uh, way uh, of work uh, in Instead of 10 working groups uh, improving our various experts in doing uh, business, uh, which uh, proved to work very inefficiently. Some of them just imitated some progress. Some of them remained in existence. Some of those working groups never gathered. So now the Ministry of Economy had uh, uh, established the Better Regulation Delivery uh, Office, uh, which uh, uh, currently uh, involves the best experts. Um, the uh, office started to work in September. In October, we produced the roadmap for improvements. Then we wrote down the um, action plan for the government and for the parliament. Um, in December, the cabinet had passed 46 uh, items uh, uh, in those action plan which uh, dealt with the necessary uh, uh, regulations, uh, legislation, etc. As of today, we have uh, prepared uh, for passage uh, half of those uh, uh, <coughs> items. Uh, that is, we have drafted uh, the half of that uh, package of legislation, which uh, has uh, has to be passed by the parliament, but the problem is that we have uh, the um, not uh, fully capable parliament. How did the parliament work in? How how much did the parliament work in uh, February? These were just four waking days of parliament. How do you think whether the parliament is able to um, act if they work just uh, four days per month? We can draft any uh, 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 laws uh, uh, with uh, uh, any degree of uh, perfection, but uh, uh, since the parliament is not working, then uh, we are unable to work, actually. That is, my message is that uh, without workable parliament as an institution, we won't reach any progress in reform implementation. That that's why I believe that those who, uh, who are sitting here today, uh, the representatives of NGO, uh, should keep this in mind and uh, think properly how to make good pressure on the parliament for, uh, from uh, civil society. The parliament has to work. Uh, and, uh, this is uh, the important message which we should um, uh, repeat again and again. Within a week, the parliament uh, is able to pass up to 40 laws in order to improve our um, position in doing in the doing business rating we have to pass just 46 laws all those laws do not stay under the carpet or in uh, somebody's drawing box no they are on the table they were po discussed by broad public by NGOs by experts by civil activists and they are ready for passage. Uh, that is, uh, since uh, uh, the parliament has to pass up to uh, 50 
economic laws to improve our rating in the doing business rating so they they should work not just for uh, days per month um, of course uh, there there are more um, difficult ratings for improving ukraine's position like the index of economic liberty but um, uh, uh, and uh, here, improving Ukraine's position will be much more difficult because our Ukrainian institutions are uh, very weak. But uh, um, um, uh, uh, just an example, uh, uh, getting a new post address for the new construction side is uh, uh, next to impossible and uh, this is again one of the reasons why investors uh, are not very eager to come to Ukraine. The companies are absent in Ukrainian market, not just because of the high level of corruption, but because of the uh, much of uh, much smaller technical difficulties. For example, we j uh, still do not have the master plan of Kiev. Mm, uh, well. Uh, whether there is any interrelation whether there is uh, any relation between improvement of the um, investment climate and uh, your actions uh, uh, of of course, uh, there is a relation. Uh, there is all an indirect and uh, direct uh, uh, relation with the uh, business climate. Just for example, um, if an investor wishes to connect uh, his new enterprise to the electric grid, how much? Uh, uh, should be uh, how much effort should be contributed to this uh, process um, the potential investor should spend at least uh, one year uh, and this is with the um, uh, fact that we produce uh, a lot of excessive energy and uh, this is because Oblenerga wish to earn money uh, on investors. And the doing business rating just measures this uh, 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 connection to uh, electric grids. Recently, the um, law on uh, uh, connection to the electric grids was uh, passed to um, was passed in the parliament, and this new law requires just three documents uh, for um, uh, um, connection. This is Oblenerga, which uh, has uh, to. Uh, produce uh, 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 technical conditions, technical standards, technical design of the project. The investor just has uh, to sign uh, the contract to um, describe the needs and uh, um, pay money. Just imagine that there is a restaurant which, uh, uh, whose owner wishes to open this restaurant uh, along the highway. Um, now, from now, they uh, do not have this barrier for doing business. And uh, uh, now I would like to give the floor to Natanda Shapapal, head of the Economic and Political 
studies at the Kiev School of Economics, associate editor at Vox Ukraine. Natalia will describe the deficiencies of all those indices that we mentioned. Each, uh, uh, the deficiency of which index, uh, uh, index is that that trying to produce uh, the generalized uh, um, picture they uh, omit many, uh, many details. Uh, 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 for example, they, they wish us to compare animals uh, who climb the trees and they take a monkey a, an elephant and uh, any 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 other uh, animal and of course among those animals an elephant will be the weakest among those who climb the trees uh, uh, so in general uh, uh, the ratings uh, say nothing about uh, uh, things which remain beyond the attention of those uh, uh, ratings. The index of economic liberties, uh, of course, uh, is good. And we clearly see that uh, America, that uh, the United States uh, um, take leading position while Ukraine stays in low position, and uh, this corresponds to our um, general perception of the situation. But Jeffrey Sachs uh, tried to understand how the uh, GDP growth correlates uh, with the economic liberties. And uh, he stated, he came to conclusion that uh, uh, the country countries uh, which uh, uh, do not uh, uh, grow in their GDP, they nevertheless demonstrate the growth of economic liberties. Um, also, he pointed out to a situation that the United States, China, uh, Sweden, uh, Denmark, uh, they are rather uh, close in rating and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, Sweden and Denmark, uh, which collect higher taxes and uh, uh, deliver good administrative and other services uh, to the citizens, uh, and at the same time in the United States and China, taxation is uh, much lower, uh, uh, but uh, all those four countries, they remain approximately at the same level of economic liberties. Um, also, looking at other countries, uh, we may um, assume that uh, the more the government interferes into the economy and creates some barriers. They may reach similar position to those uh, where the, uh, the uh, similar position to the countries where the government uh, um, uh, interferes much lesser to the economy. And uh, this again suggests that despite some tariff barriers, the countries could uh, take uh, very close positions in the mm, uh, uh, economic liberties rating. So the uh, welfare states, uh, uh, of course, they take higher positions, but poor countries, uh, they remain in uh, 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 lower positions. Also, this uh, um, rating uh, uh, do not take into consideration uh, uh, taxation of a country in general. It takes into consideration just uh, some taxes. Besides uh, that, uh, also the monetary policy is important. Uh, the index reviews uh, the uh, uh, the monetary policy inside the country, while uh, the EU 
countries uh, were which have rather strong external monetary policy at the level of the union uh, the, this factor is not reflected uh, in the economic liberties uh, rating also uh, such factors as state support of uh, uh, agricultural uh, sector uh, and support some other sectors. Uh, this distorts uh, the competition, of course, but this is not taken into consideration by that, by, uh, that rating. Also, looking at the uh, uh, um, uh, labor remuneration and uh, 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 trade uh, unions uh, activities uh, in Sweden, the uh, government allows trade unions to influence uh, 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 labor remuneration. Uh, uh, actually, the, there is a pressure on uh, wages. Uh, But this is not taken into consideration by the in index. It seems to me that uh, uh, the existence of those uh, ratings like uh, economic liberties index, like uh, um, doing business index, uh, th th in general, their existence is positive because it allows uh, us uh, to see more factors than just GDP. Uh, when there, uh, Jeffrey Sachs stated that when there is no economic growth, uh, uh, when there is no uh, growth in GDP, then the uh, economy is not successful. Mm. The Nobel Prize winner Matthias San had written a book, uh, Development is a Freedom. <clears throat> and he pointed out to a variety of freedoms and liberties, uh, economic uh, liberties, uh, social liberties, uh, 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 and uh, some other types of uh, liberties. And uh, he uh, emphasized how important for a human being is uh, that uh, uh, the quality of our life uh, is better when we have more liberties and uh, 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 due to those indices we started to pay attention at uh, those multiple aspects of liberties um, thank you natalia uh, uh, i would like to give the floor to sergey butkin partner in the investment banking company finpoint it seems to me that investments uh, to Ukraine had uh, shrinked uh, by four or five billion. Um, so my question to you uh, is uh, whether those indices are really of primary importance for investors or when they wish to earn money, they do not pay attention at those indices. I won't speak much. I think the most the important uh, uh, issue which is uh, uh, currently heavily discussed uh, uh, among investors, among those banks which had uh, withdrawn from Ukraine. Uh, uh, also, we try to facilitate
estate investments pharma star company was sold in december and uh, we travel around the country a lot uh, uh, offering something to investors uh, the more and the more we face uh, the situation uh, uh, um, that uh, you have nothing to say. Mm. Currently, it's very difficult for us to represent the uh, case of uh, investments uh, to Ukraine. After oil shock, uh, the amount of uh, available money uh, shrinked, and uh, uh, there are currently much more countries in the world offering good investment conditions, much better investment conditions uh, than Ukraine. That's uh, um, why uh, there are much more countries which uh, uh, can offer something to investors. Uh, so any uh, picture which uh, um, allows me to speak uh, in favor of Ukraine doing any presentation for potential investors, any such uh, index rating is uh, good for me. Those indices, they allow to classify the work and to assess the work of the government, of the parliament, and uh, to they could be used as uh, a KPI. Uh, actually, uh, today all our discussions Discussions are about uh, uh, redistribution of the national wealth uh, via budget, and uh, uh, I uh, uh, exist uh, between uh, uh, between Ukraine and Australia. I review the level of discussions, and I. Uh, could say that during the last year, the most meaningful discussion, economic discussion, was between Madame Yareska and Yuzhanina. And uh, uh, we should think about influencing the country's life, not just during the next two, three days or weeks, but for several years ahead. Now I am pleased to in introduce Lev Vashlinsky, Executive Director of the Center for Economic Strategy. Uh, uh, would like to present what do the investors, potential investors, dislike uh, in Ukraine. I would uh, ask you to open the presentation once again. Please show slide 21. The matter is this is the data, the survey of business association among its members, uh, European Business Association for a long time has been conducting surveys of uh, investment attractiveness of Ukraine. And uh, uh, at the beginning, there was a slide. Maybe it's worth seeing with the dynamics of this indicator. It shows a lot. What is and shows the level of uh, investment attractiveness of Ukraine. And this slide shows what should be done. 
Here, 39 percent. They say it is the key point is uh, fighting corruption, 25 uh, reform of taxation, 24 uh, percent judiciary uh, reform, and 14 uh, percent of uh, uh, speeding up reforms, and 8 percent uh, clearance of uh, state institutions from bureaucracy. So. Uh, the key um, topics, um, and uh, you know that uh, some of these topics are not related to uh, politics, actually, and to economy. And uh, uh, to end with this presentation, please uh, turn back to one of the first slides in order to see where we are. Here it is. The slide shows. Starting from 2008, uh, we have only a small period, 2010, when we had expectations um, of good results, uh, and the, uh, the, it, the indicator was uh, 3.4. After this, it fell, and uh, we have a terrible crisis and all that. But the level we assess um, the attractiveness, the assessment is higher than uh, of uh, attractiveness is higher than in previous years, and uh, uh, we speak about the level of corruption, but it is not uh, so bad for investment that it was, and the uh, previous uh, government rule, and I wanted to summarize the information. The main thing we discussed and the investors discussed what detracts investment. Uh, these are high risks, unpredictable risks. That's why it, as uh, Sergei said, uh, that's why people are undecided to invest in Ukraine. This is corruption, judicial system, uh, macroeconomic instability, and uh, uh, currency exchange uh, limitations and limitations for foreign investment, and also uh, stock exchange um, and. Uh, uh, also, uh, the most uh, risk factor is the conflict in the East. And we have a problem that, objectively, Ukraine lost attractiveness in absolute terms, both in dynamics and in absolute terms. If we are speaking about economic development, starting from uh, 2009, after the crisis of 2008, stagnation is in the markets of Ukraine after the period of 2010-2011, starting from 2012, we have an economic decline here in Ukraine. It was uh, firstly, uh, then it accelerated uh, due to some serious reasons, and it shows that uh, investors, they are accustomed to the situation that the dynamics of the market and uh, its uh, uh, absolute volume is lower than they saw um, years ago. And secondly, at that, we don't have factors that can give, of, of, give us prospects for um, accelerated growth. And this is not about macroeconomic situation, that it is impossible at the macroeconomic level. The the problem is in the existing power that they do not generate good news, and uh, they think within the frame, uh, framework that they should sell the country, but they um, uh, speak about retail and merchandise and put it at, uh, on the lower shelves where uh, products for poor people are. So. The most difficult short-term development is that Ukrainian market reduced uh, in monetary terms uh, due to devalu uh, devaluation as well. Uh, there are some things uh, that we can influence on and others we are not able to influence on. 
and the companies of some level, they take the decision that they work uh, only uh, on the top 30 uh, markets of the world. And uh, if we're speaking about, uh, so Ukraine have zero uh, chances to get uh, in this category for the manager that take this decision, and this decision won't be taken. As Sergei said, uh, those money that were 10 years ago that were uh, that was ready to be invested and uh, the um, markets of central and eastern europe they are, uh, after the uh, decommunization and uh, uh, there's uh, all the investment investors they uh, become more selective if we look at uh, raiffeisen bank there was a discussion, uh, and it didn't lead to the uh, uh, selling, but buying of a BRD package. And this bank also, uh, it uh, came out of the um, capitals of other um, banks in other regions. So this region is not on the radar for the investors. What can we can do about it? Uh, everything that depends on power, uh, we can reduce the risks. It's not easy, but uh, we should work in this direction. Also, judiciary system, prosecutor's office, SBU, give, uh, st uh, state uh, fiscal service. The president is responsible. We usually speak about uh, the government, but we, if we are speaking about the risks, uh, judiciary prosecutor's office and SBU is the uh, um, is the uh, sphere uh, of uh, interest for the president and uh, his responsibility. Also, the reduction of taxes we improved uh, and uh, lifted the pressure on business. And uh, we hope that we should stop at this and to provide. Uh, low uh, def de uh, uh, budget deficit. Uh, so we won't go to uh, emission of uh, um, uh, and the spiraling and devaluation. And speaking about what Sergei said, uh, there should be work carried out uh, in order to uh, Ukrainian power is not involved in these processes. They try to uh, they try to get the piece of pie for themselves, and they don't want to find a new pie. Uh, pie. And the criteria for investment: the investment uh, should be the criteria of uh, effectiveness of. Uh, um, economic policy, and uh, I'm thankful to my colleagues from Vox that this topic is discussed. It's very fruitful discussion, and uh, we have five minutes. If you have some questions, we are ready to answer. Thank you. As a conclusion, it was evident that we are we think alike, and we uh, believe that indices uh, are needed, that they reflect the reality. And uh, I would like also to support Gleb and Sergei in that we cannot postpone judiciary reform and tax reform. But we know that some successful cases are sold, but we should speak about them because uh, we uh, cannot fail constantly. And maybe it's not the case actually here in Ukraine. Thank you very much.